for watching the Hyperdrive. This is our third Hyperdrive. It's a monthly thing we do to raise money for this channel. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. And this is the last show of the night. That's right. And it's Hyper Sketch, and we're going to kill it. We got some great sketch teams. Oh, yeah. We got some yeah. great videos. We've got some original stuff that we have concocted. That's Woo! right, baby. Put it in there. Woo! Make it. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, you finished, you finished your sticker oh, yeah. doodle. Yeah, yeah. That was going to be a real funny bit where I eat an ice cream sandwich during all this. Ate it too fast. <laughs> <laughs> In Brain Free City right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Uh, for those of you guys are watching, because we are on front page, and thank you so much. We have a lot of new people watching. Uh, we're the producers of Hyper Sketch, Cameron right. Rice, Elizabeth Harris, If you want Way, Mal Savano. So guys, yeah. sit back and enjoy Hyper Sketch. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our host, Miss Emma Fox! What is up, guys? Thank you so much for joining us for the second ever Hyper Sketch here at Hyper RPG. This is the final event of our monthly Hyper Drive, and we're so happy that you're all here with us this evening. Again, I am Emma Fife. You can see me here at Hyper RPG on our Star Wars RPG, Pencils and Parsecs, every 9 o'clock p.m. on Friday nights, and also on Tuesday afternoons, streaming video games here at 3 o'clock p.m. during my solo streaming show called Adventures in Fiefdom. We have got... <laughs> A great show for you guys tonight. Amazing lineup. Lots of local yes, teams from here in Los Angeles. Hey, hello. Hi. I'm Alex. Hello. How are you? Hi. Yeah, nice Emma. To meet you. Emma. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Emma. Yeah. I've seen you around. Yeah, I've seen uh, you around a little bit as, as well. What are you up to? Uh, you well, I, I'm hosting this show. Oh, yeah, my God. Yeah, there's a, there's a show happening That's right so now. That's awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very That's much. Cool. Yeah. What are What exactly are you what do I, what doing I mean, here? What yeah, am I doing here? Yeah. I don't know. Just Maybe I'm just... Uh, throwing down that this is the greatest movie that has ever come out in all of life. I'm what do you think of that? I'm pretty sure there Emma was a host. point that it had 0% on Rotten zero Tomatoes. 0% means but... nothing because you can take that and you can add another one on top and it's infinity. So um, think about, think of use yeah. your mind. Yes. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. Alex, but last month during this very same event, you were all about minions. Oh, so I don't really know. Oh my like, God. The... If I could vomit, I don't do the two fingers, but if I could vomit, I would do it for you right here, right in front of you, just to show you how much I hate the Minions, because the Minions are three weeks ago, you understand that? This oh. is what it's all about. Sure. Okay, so sure. you got the hand one, boom. Yep. You got the mm -hmm. thumb one, yep. boom. Yep. You got this one right here, boom. The you got the, the blonde, uh -huh. you know, with the red dress, yeah, right? The dancing but then you also yep. got these bad boys right here, all right? This is double your fun, okay? Okay. This is the poop faces, okay? This is but these are like man poops, because no. they're like boys, you know what I mean? Like the boys, like the man poops. You I know don't what I'm understand saying? what makes you think these poops are male specifically. Look but... at the look at the look at the eyebrows, number one. Look at the eyes, look how their eyes are. Look, this one's wearing a bow tie. Have you ever seen a girl wear a bow tie? Um, <laughs> listen, I feel like you're like genderifying clothing in a way that it doesn't Okay, well, you know what? That's taking a left turn. All I'm talking about is that the the, the, the shit, the piece of shits thing are my favorite. Th <laughs> they're my favorite well, emojis. Cool. Okay? Cool. That's you don't like the main emojis? Great. You like um, my man poops? Mm, you like my man poops? Mm, you like my man poops? I, I can see a glimmer. I can see a glimmer past the past the lens. Okay. There's a glimmer Are, past the lens. Sure, fine, fine. Yes. I'm all, all about. Are you placating me so I leave? Yes, I am. I'll take it, Emma. All right. Nice to Fantastic. meet you. Fantastic. So good show. Alex is gonna go. He did go. Oh, good. I thought he was gonna stay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 All right. We are gonna kick the show off here with a sketch from our friends over at AOK. -okay. We've got a great video sketch for you guys coming up right now. Yeah. Man, I hope this plumber gets here soon or I'm gonna have to cancel dinner. Oh, thank God. Are you the plumber? Yeah! Woohoo! Okay, 
uh, well, there's a problem with my toilet. The tank won't stop filling with water. Okie dokie! I'm sorry, are you Mario? Yeah! Oh, I always assumed you were too busy fighting Bowser or whatever to be an actual plumber. It's me, Mario! Jump, jump! Okay, well, good luck. Yippee! Sounds like you're having fun in there, not actually plumbing. Yeah! It's the I just need the tank fixed. It should be pretty easy. Whoa. Oh, fuck! Oh, oh my god, are you okay? Oh, 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 fuck me! Hello, Mario? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, no! Oh! Oh! <laughs> We must have turned the wrong pipe, because then the walls started crumbling down and all this poo kept pouring out of What me. pipe? You were supposed to fix the tank! I know, I know. I was trying, and then I slipped and cut my hand on the pipe. Oh, oh my god. There's so much poop in my blood. There's poop in my blood. Okay, I'm going to call an ambulance. Don't, don't, don't. I don't have insurance. Please, please don't call. I can't do it. I'll just wash the poop out of my blood. He cut me off and I threw a brick at his car and then he swerved and died on the side of the road. Oh my god. But I learned how to drive in Mario Kart, okay? When people cut you off, you throw things at them. Hey, do me a favor. Check, check WebMD and see what happens if you get poop in your blood and it goes to your brain. Uh, okay, uh, it depends on how much. A lot, a lot. I ate a lot too. There's a lot in my mouth. I ate a lot. I, ate, I swallowed a lot of poop. Okay, it says you're going to get sepsis and die. Oh. Oh, God, are you kidding me? I, I live such a good life, and I'm going to die because of this poop in my butt. Tell me, how many lives do I have left? What? Look up there. There's a number. What's the number say? How many lives? It says you have zero lives. Oh, oh God. I'm gonna die because I got poop in my blood because you clogged the toilet. The toilet wasn't clogged. You were just supposed to fix the tank. Fine, I clogged the toilet. What? Yeah. You shit in my toilet and clogged it? Yes, of course I did, okay? I could fit through the pipes. I thought my dump could fit through the pipes, okay? Uh, hold me. No. You're a bitch, lady! Yeah, no, just kidding. Uh, uh, do me a favor. Uh, tell, tell Princess Peach I love her. Okay? But don't, don't tell her I died because I got poop in my blood, okay? Uh, okay? Okay, I won't. Hey, t tell my brother. He's player one now. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, tell, tell Daisy I love her. Are you having an affair? I have a lot of affairs. I even did that big monkey. might throw up a little bit uh, but god it was so specific it was really funny uh coming up next guys we have our very first live sketch of the evening everybody give it up for 100 percent stuff yeah man i mean i don't know the movie wonder woman in my opinion is not that great <laughs> why well I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, the title character in Wonder Woman doesn't have any of her own ideas or make any of her own decisions. What are you talking about? She makes plenty of decisions. Nah, nah, man. She gets led around the entire time by that one guy. I don't think that's a fair 
thing. That didn't happen. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, it totally did. Uh, he completely uh, just uh, leads her around. Like, you know, she comes from like a completely different world, you know? And then she's brought to England to fight this war that she couldn't possibly understand. Yeah, but she helps in the war. Like, she's the main character of the movie. Because she's strong, but she doesn't have any stakes in it, so... She fights the Germans. She's, like, she's why they win. Uh, yeah, because he tells her to. What if he had been on the other side? I mean, she doesn't care about England, just this guy. Look, I don't think that's right. You know what? You know when she makes a big decision? In the No Man's Land scene. No Man's Land scene, she changes the whole movie when she makes that big decision. It's her movie because of that. Oh, yeah, that's a great scene for the soldiers. <laughs> and then she gets all tangled up in that barbed wire fence. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she gets, uh, she gets tangled up in the barbed wire, and then she starts kicking up her hooves and snorting, and then she's just all snorting, and, uh, and then the soldiers have to free her out of the barbed wire because she's just a big, dumb animal. That's a scene from War Horse. You're describing the movie War Horse right now. <laughs> you sure about that? Was this movie about a woman or about a horse? Which one's name? Horses. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking of War Horse. Okay. How was Wonder Woman, though? It was good. Oh, okay. It was good, okay? Yeah. Could have used some more horses. Most women's can. <laughs> hey, why the long face? Spin this wheel. We got two giveaways to do really quick. What? Yeah. Yay! Okay, two giveaways. Get active in the chat. Luke, they gotta get active in the chat. Yeah, we'll Oh, yeah, smart idea. Good idea. Good idea. Okay, I got you. Here we go. First winner. Oh, man, it's gonna be a switch. Holy shit! It's a Nintendo Switch! Nintendo Switch to somebody. Yeah. All right. Second we, giveaway. We got one more. We, we got, got one, one more. more. We got one more. Okay. To do one more to do. do. One more to do. Stretch. Stretch. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Here we get some hero clicks. Hey. Yeah. Awesome guys. Congratulations, you guys. Remember, we're gonna be. Well, we did the Switch. That's great. I can't. I know, it's amazing. amazing. Someone's getting a Nintendo Switch. That's awesome, man. Dude, you know what's great? Give me what Nintendo Switch is. It is. Yeah. It's awesome. You know what was also great? <laughs> that sketch from 100% Stuff. Give it up, guys. <laughs> and remember, everybody in the chat, did you like those sketches that you just saw? Show your appreciation. Vote on them using emotes in the chat. Keep the hype going and we're going to be keeping the evening going uh coming up next we have our very first stand-up of the night ladies and gentlemen give it up for riley fox <laughs> y'all we're gonna stop for just a moment <laughs> just a moment y'all uh riley fox is on his way they got here a little early, and then they asked if they can run back to their place to change clothes. I said, sure. So this my fuck up. So now I got to 
I got to, I sure did. So now I got to stand out here and uh, stall for a little bit. Yeah. Don't have one. Do not. Do what? Oh, is he, there we go. There we go. Yeah, man, Yay. I stalled perfectly. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Riley Fox. Oh, that's that's how you make an entrance, folks. You don't know if I'm going to show up or not. Oh, this is fun. Oh, man, so I don't know what he told you guys about me before I got here. I'm very obviously winded because I had to run to make it to the queue on time. Uh, I live in Portland. I'm here visiting in L.A., uh, which is why I look vaguely homeless. Uh, thanks. Uh, homeless people in L.A. are different from homeless people in Portland. Like in L.A., you know, homeless people are like, hey, man, you got any money? And in Portland, they're like, hey, man, you have any lavender? <laughs> I need some real bad. I like living in Portland, though. Uh, my favorite thing about Portland is uh, bicycles. Everybody rides bicycles in Portland. I think it's fucking adorable. Oh, my God. Because cause, cause I'm originally from the South. Where riding a bicycle has a totally different meaning. Like in Portland, you see somebody riding a bicycle, you're thinking, oh, there's someone who cares about the environment, their carbon footprint. That's fantastic. Go down to my old neighborhood in the South, see somebody riding a bicycle, you're thinking, oh, DUI. Okay, yeah. That closes the case on that one, Your Honor. Court adjourned. Let's get lunch, yeah. I, uh, I'm originally from Tennessee. That's the state I come from. Thank you. That's the appropriate response. Just <laughs> silence, like, hey, good job. You made it out. All right, cool. Tennessee is a very dumb state. Last year, this is true, the state legislature of Tennessee tried to pass a bill to make the Bible the official state book of Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> Two problems to have with that. Number one, it's impossible to have an official state book when you don't know how to read. <laughs> and secondly, Tennessee already has an official state book. It's the Waffle House menu. So right there, you do the math because they can't. Okay, yeah. Oh, so 2016 is a year that's finally behind us for uh, for a few months. Uh, 2016 totally screwed me up in the head because all the famous people died last year. Like all of them. <laughs> it's just there's no more famous people. No, but all, like, all of my favorite musicians died last year, like Lemmy and Bowie and Merle and the other old guy. And yet, Ozzy Osbourne, still walking the planet, baby. Yeah. Yeah, I love Ozzy Osbourne. He's one of my favorites because he's, Freaking crazy, man. Like, he got to start in the 70s singing for a band called Black Sabbath. Remember them? They were the first heavy metal band. They sung songs about the devil. He got kicked out of that band in 1979. Why? Drugs. <laughs> Let me explain something to you guys. Uh, do you have any idea how fucked up you got to be to get kicked out of a heavy metal band for doing drugs? In the 1970s? <laughs> they didn't even have good drugs back then. Your only options were pot and glue. I think that was it. That was all you had to choose from. It's ridiculous. How do you get kicked out of a band for doing drugs anyway? How do you get kicked out of a band for doing the thing that formed the band in the first place? You know? It's like he kicked B.B. King out of his blues band because he was too much of a bummer all the time. You know? Like... <laughs> Just crying constantly, like, what the heck, man? Go talk to a professional. I like this, I like this fake brick wall I'm standing in front of. It's very appropriate. It's cool. <laughs> I want to touch it and just, yeah, that feels real. Okay, cool. Don't mind that diversion. That was a weird lucid thing. All right. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so uh, I'm from the South. Uh, I started doing comedy in the South. I did comedy in the South for five years. Don't recommend doing that with your time. No, don't. <laughs> Skip it. Absolutely. I did weird shows in the South, man. One time the weirdest show I ever did was in a town called Columbia, Tennessee. Uh, it was in a big, giant sports bar. And, uh, and behind the stage, they actually had a Jumbotron screen. And they had a camera in the back of the room that would project the comedian on the Jumbotron screen behind him during the show which is pretty cool, except there was a three-second delay. So you could tell a joke, that joke could bomb, and then you would have time to turn around and watch it bomb again. 
That was an embarrassing bicycle ride home, you guys. And uh, I think that's going to be it for me, all. I've been Riley Fox. You guys have a good rest of your night. Enjoy the rest of this fantastic show. Yeah. Riley Fox. Thanks, man. Hey, guys. Listen, we really, really appreciate you all tuning in tonight for our second hyper sketch ever because. You know, it, it took a lot for us to, to get this show together this week because last weekend we all were at Comic-Con, which yeah. is a very oh. tiring time, but it was a lot of fun. And we thought that we would like share some of our favorite Comic-Con memories with you guys, like some of our experiences. Yeah. So yeah. 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 Uh, for me, I think it was it was getting to meet a lot of fans, a lot of thumpers out there. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Super into us. Yeah. We're very respectful, very nice. I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I really liked my triangle-shaped hotel room. It was really cool. <laughs> yeah. Gotta love that. Matt, what was your favorite moment? <laughs> uh, my favorite moment was the Sonic the Hedgehog concert. Oh! Ooh. Yeah. 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 Chris yeah. Yeah. was there. Cool. He yeah. had yeah. no idea what was happening. <laughs> <laughs> what were you all about? Uh, <laughs> you know, unlike the advancements in cosplay this year, like I noticed yeah. there was a lot of like body paint. There's so a lot of crazy been, stuff. Yeah, yeah that's been absolutely. My jam. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah Elizabeth, great. what about you? What did you love about Comic Con? Oh, uh, I don't know. Like, there was less traffic. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, huh? there was less traffic uh, on the freeways. Like, it took about like <laughs> ten minutes off your commute, and like some of the bars were less crowded. At Comic Con? Like yeah, oh. the bars are like packed yeah. at Comic Con. Yeah. All, like no, all the gasoline. No, no, like here. You? In LA. Did, did you not go to Comic Con? No. Oh. What the fuck, oh. dude? <laughs> What? You know, oh, come on. Kids are get, you're being, yeah, you're being a little unfair. You guys, yeah. Comic Con can get really, really expensive. Yeah. We're all like super lucky that we get to go for our jobs and it doesn't cost us as much money. It but, wasn't like, expensive at all. Our what? hotel room was paid for. I had like 30 drinks over the weekend. I didn't pay for a Cameron, single one. Cameron, 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 Cameron. Comic Con's not Cameron, expensive. Dude, That's a misnomer. Cameron. No. That's a misunderstanding. Why did you We know? owe Zach like $3,000, dude. Like, we had to pay him back. Yeah, that, that reason. I owe Zach $3,000? Yeah, okay, cumulatively. <laughs> I don't have three thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing a paycheck. You were living like a king too, dude. I was like, oh man, he shouldn't be doing this, but I'm not gonna stop him. <laughs> He's doing great. Look how happy he was, you know? <laughs> was being the operative word there. Can I borrow money from anybody? <laughs> Is there um, money I can borrow? Wow. Oh, oh sorry. Okay. I did not mean to. Oh man. Ooh. Well, that's Ooh. Uh, yeah. kind of a sour note there. So uh, <laughs> to bring things back up, we here at Hyper RPG want to remind you guys <laughs> that even though there's all kinds of great celebrity sightings and yep. parties and yep. other amazing adventures to be had at yep. San Diego Comic-Con, let's bring it back to what Comic-Con is really all about, and that mm. is the comic creators. Woo. So coming up next, we have got our music video featuring Amontiak, aka Chris, Chris Bramante, Abby Tron, woo, and woo, woo. our dear friend Matt Acevedo right here yeah. in Comics on the Floor. Check it out. Check it out.
Sailor Moon. Sit down. Oh. Oh. Hi, hi, Principal Smith. How how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Oh, I, I'm great. I'm swell. You know, I'm I'm just so excited about prom and then graduation <laughs> and all the great things. I'm gonna stop you right, right there. What? Uh, yeah, that's what I brought you in to talk about is uh, graduation. Oh, oh my gosh. Do you want me? to be valedictorian. I mean, this is really quite a surprise because like I thought my grades were totally terrible, so it's totally unexpected, but like I promise I will not let you down. Oh, no, I'm no, going to no, write the no, most you, you're not going to be able to graduate at all. <laughs> what? Yeah, no, you've been gone for days on end. Sometimes <laughs> and you come back and but, you come and we don't I, know where you're going. I, I studied so hard and like it was really, really distracting trying to study it at Ray's family shrine because like all the parents kept showing up to just like pray about their missing children instead of going to the actual police. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I, 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 look, I, look, there's a way around this. We can work, we can work through this. You know, maybe we'll look into summer school. There's summer a school. Look, yeah, the, look, there's nothing wrong with going to summer school. You know, lots of kids use it to kind of catch up and, and you, you know, what have you. How am I supposed to explain to him that all of those times that I missed school, I was fulfilling my cosmic duty to protect the Earth from the negaverse? It's not just like I was skipping out on school to have fun <laughs> with my friends. Well, I mean, except for that one time and also that other time, but mostly it was fighting evil by moonlight. And well, occasionally Serena, those Serena, rendezvous Serena, with tuxedo Serena, Serena, masks Serena, hey. and you know, what? Well, huh? Hey, we almost lost you there for a second. Uh, <laughs> please, 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 Principal Smith, I will do anything. I, I, I'll do janitor work. I'll help make lunches for everybody. I'll personally scrub every single chalkboard in the school with a toothbrush, okay, just fine okay, details. Okay, okay, look, look, all right. We can work something out, I'll say, uh, you know, we could do Saturday school. I know we normally reserve that Sa for Saturday. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's actually you could start this Saturday at six a.m. before graduation. Six a.m. Yeah. <sighs> Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> There, yeah, there was. It was a good stinger. I liked it. It was great. Oh, hey, Elizabeth. Um, that's that's uh, that's some dress you got on. Oh, this. There. No, I've had this forever because I'm a huge fan. You know. Sure. I heard you were like kind of a fan too, so I thought I'd just bring yeah. out the back of my closet. Yeah, that's yeah. That's, that's, so that that's, that's, that's pretty nice. Class. Yeah, I like it. It's what? Elizabeth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But uh, honestly, I feel like this is the dress you were wearing earlier. No, Early that was a show. normal dress. Well, this is yeah. a Sailor Moon dress. Right, it's looks, a Sailor. Yeah, but, well, it looks but a lot like it just looks like you you, you taped on. Sailor Moon pictures to your dress yeah. that you were wearing earlier in the show. Yeah, that's no. what it looks like. Yeah, it kind of no, does. I yes. did not do that. Well, I can see the white outlines from yeah, where you yeah. cut them out of magazines. That's or... part of the design. Yeah, okay, it's kind of like three D action right there. Yeah, there's three yeah. D action because the tape has come off because there's tape on. That's the... also part of the design. Is it really? It's very it really? avant garde. Okay. Um, actually, what's funny is that this here is a My Little Pony. So oh, yeah, yeah. I'm that's... pretty sure that's canon. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. not. Oh, well, <laughs> it's on the dress, dude. So. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, one of us is going to have to change. <laughs> um, are you kidding? What, are you kidding me? What is, I don't understand. What do you mean, one of us is have to, has to change? Yeah, this. Obviously, <laughs> one of you has to change. This is really embarrassing. Yeah. And I don't want to ruin Emma's night. Yeah, I don't want to ruin anybody's night. Yeah. So, obviously, you have to change, Elizabeth. What? I was here first. Are you, look at him. Look That's at this. Point. Look at this. Are you, I'm going to twirl you. Look at this. <laughs> to that music, I'm a, I'm a real fan. Huh? Look at him. I'm a real Cameron. fan of, is her name Sabrina? Cameron, no. I was here first. <laughs> you were here fine, God damn it, fine. Skin tight and shit, oh, man. You look, okay. No, oh, Yu-Gi-Oh, oh, I'm also a real oh, fan. No. Oh. Twitch, I'm a Can't real fan, so throw me some tips, and um, I don't know, I'll say your name by wearing a cute little dress with uh, shit on um, it. Yeah, that's not not a great show, uh, but <laughs> this, is a, this is a great show, guys. And uh, you know what? 
We're just gonna we're just gonna keep it going here, okay? Let's like cut to a video or something, and we'll figure out what's going on with 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 these guys while Cam goes and changes. <laughs> Yoshi, get your big wet tongue out of here. Are you kidding me? Dude, I got the OJ, I got the Prosecco, I got the Doritos, and I got Lego Batman 4K. You know what day it is? Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Lazy Sunday. Mmm. Mmm. 4K. 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 No. You freeze. Wow, this 4K looks great! What? It looks like the real Legos, man. <gasps> this is fake. Well, yeah, uh, okay, clearly it's not like stop motion for all the purists out there. The animation looks so real. Where'd you get this, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, Some guy down the street. He threw in his orange juice, too. That's our neighbor in a Batman costume. Exactly, exactly. Batman's just like the everyman, you know? He doesn't have powers, he doesn't need them. Will Arnett? was meant to play Batman. Like, scooch over, Conroy. Our net's in town, baby. I'm Batman. Jerry, you need to be looking out. Oh, look, Lego Batman's taking off his pants! Dude, that's freaking crazy. I did not see that coming. This is ruining the sanctity of Lazy Sunday. What are you guys watching me? The Lego Batman 4K. I'm Batman. No, it's not. Shut up, Adam! I paid good money for this! How much? 75 bucks. What? He's throwing this free orange juice. Dude, just because it looks real doesn't mean it's 4K. This is just some VHS recording that our neighbors pawned you off with. Shut, shut the f up. This is like a Batman 4K. You're ruining Lazy Sunday. Uh, Jerry, Jerry. So, shoving Legos up his butt. great sketches happening here live before your eyes on Twitch. So be sure to show your appreciation in the chat. Vote with emotes. We got that going on right now. Keep the hype train going. Coming up next, we have our second stand-up comedian of the night. Everybody give it up for Cor Cohen. Do they have, here's your mic. Here, let me bring it to you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm excited. Nice place. Nice place. Can we talk about some common ground stuff? Fuck cat calling, right? <laughs> cool. A little bit of a pander there. Glad we're all on board. I uh, Don't be alarmed. I'm not a man-hating feminist. It's okay. I appreciate you. You know, someone's got to take out my trash, kill a spider, abs and triceps. I think that you have your place. It's fine. You're humans, I guess. Whatever. I just don't understand catcalling. Like, I get it. I understand how it happens and why it happens. And I always say man because, like, never in the history of catcalling has a woman ever catcalled another woman unless it was to counteract a scary cat call like two blocks away. <laughs> but um, I get it. You know what I mean? Like, you see a beautiful woman walking across the street, and you're like, oh my god. She looks like she reads the same kind of stuff that I do. <laughs> I bet she loves 311. She seems like she does. <laughs> that sundress says low maintenance, because I work at Best Buy, and I'm about to holler out my window at this woman. 
need somebody with a little bit lower standards, you know? Get it. You're like, oh my God, you could be the Harley Quinn to my Joker. You could be the one. And you just want to scream out and from the bottom of your loins, the best you can come up with is, ugh, dead ass though. I get it. <laughs> oh, not everyone's a world-class comedian such as myself. Not everyone's great off the cuff. So what I'm saying is, if you're going to cat call the one, because she's the one, every time she's the one, you just fuck it up. It's okay. Just rehearse a little bit, you know? Write a script. Do a little role play. Maybe pull an editor in. She is the one after all. You know? If you're going to cat call a woman in Los Angeles or in Brooklyn, you can't cat call her the way you cat call a girl in Boise, Idaho. You got to put some effort into it. It's different caliber. Not saying better or worse, just saying heard it all before, you know? Put some effort into it. Like, um, I was going to have a successful cat call. I think it would be something like, hey, hey, girl, you look like you read David Foster Wallace novels. <laughs> Why don't you say that you and I get together and discuss the prison industrial complex and its effect on youth in our society today? It's like, that's how you get your dick sucked on the side of the road, gentlemen. Like I said, I'm not a man-hating lesbian. I'm trying to help you. You know? And it's okay if you're not smart. Not saying that men aren't smart. But just saying if you aren't, that's okay too. All women are looking for is a little bit of effort. Just that something that says, I know you tried. You may have fell short, but you tried. You know? Do it in three words. Fuck Hobby Lobby. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Birth control should be between me and my me and my physician and not my employer. Get on over here and put it in my butt. Guys, I'm Cora Cohen. Thank you so much for the time. You're going to be in the front edge. Just keep wandering throughout the whole sketch. Oh, uh, really? Welcome back to Star Trek. When we last left our crew, they had come across an alien vessel. Friend, foe, let's find out. Any word, Uhura? Captain, I'm getting a hailing frequency. The call sign is 67351. 67351. God, no, God, no! No, God, no! Uh, turn your ship around! Let's fly away! What is it, Jim? Is it the Klingons an enemy ship? No, it's worse. It's the Breebs. The Breebs? The Breebs. An alien species with loud, obnoxious voices who demand constant attention and are very, very curious. They are quite vexing. Yes. They are the most annoying species known to man. Captain, they're hailing. They, they know we're here. No, don't, don't put them through. What are you thinking? Oh! Put them through. <laughs> Hello, Captain Cat! Captain Cat! Captain Cat! Can you see us? Can you see us, Captain Cat? Uh, yes, I, I can see you. I can see you. Captain I, I can see you. Our, I'm here. Our ship broke again. Oh, 
Oh! How did it break? We don't know, Captain. Go! 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 No, no, right here! I'm right here! I can see you! I can hear you! We all hear you! All right. Great. Sorry about that. That's Thump Stumper is a uh, pillow fight that lasts approximately three days. <laughs> the, it's a long-standing Breeb's tradition. The winner gets to keep the pillow. Oh, all right, listen. Well, I'll be with you in one moment. One moment. Blow up that ship. Chin. What? <laughs> listen to me, Bones. <laughs> That was instinct, I apologize, my friend. Captain, yes. though I am no fan of the Breebs, I must protest this course of oh, action. Oh, really? Listen to me. If they come on this ship, they will never leave. Do you understand that? Captain, I think that's against Starfleet Command. No, it's, it's not. I, no, Captain it's Captain not against it. Let me tell you something. Let me, stop it. Let me tell you something. Uhura, look into my eyes while I speak to your face. Listen to me. You remember you said that. You remember, all of you remember she said that when they start annoying you and screaming in your face and hitting you with pillows. Remember, remember it. Beam them aboard. God, you're already doing it, you asshole. <laughs> Thank you, Captain, Captain, Captain God. God. I'm not Captain. Thank, Thank you, Captain, Captain God. God. No, I'm not. Thank you, Captain God. Captain God. Captain God. You know it's me! You were looking at me! For the last two minutes, you know it's me! I've got the car! Remember when we looked into each other's eyes? <clears throat> what do these buttons do, Captain? Don't oh, press the button! Don't press the button! Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Captain Kirk! Captain Kirk! Oh, they just fired a photon torpedo. What? Oh! Is that the fire? I don't know. What are those noises? Oh, 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 What? Oh. Captain Kirk! What did Kirk? I tell you? What did I tell you? They blew up the ship. I told you we'll never get rid of them. Yes. Well, uh, my first mate will help you to your quarters. Yes, we live here now. We live here. We must mate. We must no, mate. No, no, you'll do that in your quarters. We must mate. <gasps> oh. The Briebs are a species who must mate every night. We cannot interfere. It is the prime directive. Oh, it's the prime directive it's, spot? It's the prime directive. This is the oh. prime directive? Oh, that's so disgusting because their mouths are wide open. Oh! Oh! I can hear their breaths going into each other's mouths. Oh. Oh. What? Wait. Wait a minute. Did they fall asleep? <sighs> they fell asleep. of the starship Enterprise. It's five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to see new life, a new civilization, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Hyper Drive, it's the, the final event, Hyper Sketch. 
give it up for all of our amazing performers this evening. <laughs> from times current and past. <laughs> and for all of the winners of all of our, our giveaways this evening. Yeah, yeah. And throughout yeah. the day. Yeah. And guys, thank you so much for tuning into the Hyper Rage. Well, thank you for watching all you, everyone, all the new viewers. Welcome to Hyper RPG, guys. We have a bunch of great content here. Make sure to check us out. Guys, this is meant to be seen live. This is live entertainment. You can't, it's, we have to build this energy together, guys. It's meant to be seen together. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's like we're, we're Goku. We need your energy, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Almost, I wasn't gonna come here today because my face, but then I was like, I'm gonna fight through the big face. Because of your face? Well, well because look, 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 look how big my face is. You don't see the bigness I of mean, it. Thick, you know, every, yeah. every, every, every part of my body thick right now. Uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, no, coming here was worth it, and I feel like it healed my face a bit, like with that Patch Adams type formula. <laughs> sure, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Laughter, yeah, yeah, joy, yeah, yeah. the power of friendship. Power of friendship! These are all things that, that we've learned today during our hyperdrive. Yeah. Like Matt said, it's it's all about tuning in live and creating that sense of community through live programming. So we truly, truly thank you guys who tuned in all day long for all of your donations this evening. It really, really helps us out because we are a company that is for fans, by fans, and that is you guys. So you guys are able to directly contribute to the content that we're making here, and then we're able to make content specifically for you to enjoy. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. And big up to Emma, who hosted Hypersketch tonight, guys. She really killed it. She fucking killed it. Thank you to our stand-ups, to AOK, -OK, everyone that did videos. Guys, thank you so much for watching Hyper RPG. Please subscribe. Go check out our YouTube. Go yes. check out our Twitter. I'm keeping the lipstick <laughs> on. Yeah. I look good. And guys, we will be back Monday with programming. Zach will be back with Honesty Hour at Woo. 1 p.m. Followed by, we'll be back with you guys at 3 p.m. as well uh, with your uh, super silly, uh, fun gaming show. Yep. Which you got to tune in to uh, watch it because it's super wild. You might get a tattoo. We'll see what happens. Uh, then Masters of the Metaverse at 6 p.m. Followed by Indomitable, our, two po our second episode past the season finale. We want to let WizKids know how much we love them. It's the second part of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles showdown. Tune in for our Hero Click show this Monday night, 9 p.m. Pacific time. We want to keep that show going. Make sure to tweet at them and follow us at HyperRPG. And make sure to follow, like, and subscribe all of our content because we, you guys, uh, make this who we are. So thank you guys so much. We love you guys. Thank you for this whole day. Thank you guys. We'll see you next week. Have a great night.